Тема, которую я... The uh, topic I'm going to deal with is um, not really a standalone one. It's uh, rather closely connected and inter interlaced with uh, what Vladimir just talked about. Um, and here is why. Let's start. Um, actually, um, I started from a picture uh, by uh, uh, Rubik Goldberg uh, that speaks something about the complexity or extra complexity or else uh, how can a simple job be done, how a simple problem might be resolved. So why actually uh, did I start with this particular picture? As uh, my acquaintance and uh, very estimable by me engineer said, that if I take a network fragment uh, um, somehow technologically uh, designed and I can't really sort it out within 15, 20 minutes, uh, that means uh, it's either wrongly designed or the technologies that uh, it is based on um, cannot, in principle, be used uh, by an operator and have no future. I am, I am not into the thinking that Rubik Goldberg drew this picture by, by uh, looking at MP, IP, MP stack protocol that most of you are using today. But, but my presumption is that most likely it's vice versa. So actually, yeah, if you don't see that real good, then um, I will describe what it's got there. So the job that was set for this was to implement it, to roll out a, uh, a pencil sharpener, a regular one. And uh, it was a multi-stage job. So uh, the process was about like uh, follows, as follows. Uh, to, to enable to, uh, this particular device, um, one needs to open a window and and uh, throw a like, kite out of there. So uh, and uh, it's being pulled by the wind, and so then it pulls the rope, and it opens a box, and a moss flies out of there. The wool moss that uh, eats a sweater or raincoat or something like made a bull. And then, uh, and then uh, there is a uh, block that is. Uh, uh, poised with the boot, and as soon as the moss has 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 hidden it, uh, the boot will press the press a lever, and the the lever will turn on the iron ironing iron, and uh, then it uh, heats up a cloth, and then it will smoke an opossum out of its hole, and uh, then it uh, will jump out, and then it will subsequently open the way to the uh, woodpecker to uh, have the pencil sharpened uh, until the opossum is sick, and uh, uh, the woodpecker is in low spirits, you can always grab a knife and sharpen the pencil. Anyways, that's that's a way to go. That's a uh, backup way to go. So um, if we look uh, into what is being used today as you know what uh, as a um, universal tested. Um, uniformly tested industrial standards like uh, MPLPS. We have the following picture. Yes, uh, we have made up uh, a reliable switching, uh, which is pretty much uh, comfortable and high speed and all things and adapted to the services. So in other words, the need is to somehow to use some extra me extra needs to distribute the uh, um, network marks uh, down the uh, services, down the nodes, and so on. There is a distribution protocol. So it, it actually uh, um, had no uh, uh, like routing and he had an, an opportunity to do an explicit routing uh, throughout the network. And uh, there was no opportunity to uh, uh, get a fast uh, network convergence, uh, convergence uh, yes, uh, with traffic engineering. So uh, they started to use RS uh, IP for um, for about the same functions, and then later to use uh, the hierarchical system, a tunnel system. So over, over uh, the tunnels, um, uh, RCBC tunnels, LTP uh, should be used. So in some cases, those, in some cases, those protocols require synchronization. So the operation of all these uh, uh, facilities uh, on the networks uh, will grow into uh, giant tables of marks and uh, signals and uh, alarms. Are so pretty, oh, pretty uh, much uh, complex. So uh, what I'm going to talk about uh, the segment routing, and that's the simplification of all these models to. Uh, uh, to um, the one that uh, is uh, much more comfortable to um, operate uh, both the routers and the people controlling and operating it, and uh, even all the SDN controllers that will bear that uh, later in mind and uh, then use uh, uh, 
as a as a control point. Uh, so, so what are the main goals and uh, ideas uh, that are embedded in in the routing segment? Uh, first of all, because uh, um, yeah, we're keeping the infrastructure the way it is, uh, and uh, you might get uh, an offer, you might get a proposal to throw away what you just have bought. And uh, as uh, it's uh, as a hardware supplier, it's uh, pretty handy. It comes pretty handy with that. Yes, you discard it every year and buy a new one uh, from uh, from ourselves. And we're not proposing a revolution. A revolution is very hard hard to apply, uh, especially large operators networks. So we are retaining the thing what we have. They the plane. We are you know, allow the marks and uh, all the now, other manipulations with the marks that were uh, embedded already in the ASICs-based uh, network processors and so on. We are using the same network protocols uh, uh, that you're dealing with and that you have experience dealing with and that you're versed about how they work and uh, uh, PGP and things. And uh, The only thing we're working on is uh, we're increasing the scalability, the scaling, and uh, then uh, we are decreasing are going down on complexity of operation. Apart from this, uh, we're thinking about potentially uh, that apart from MPLS, that is today. Um, an addition, a complementary to the regular MP as a transport protocol. So we uh, firmly believe in the fact that MPLS says six. Um, yeah, we uh, may also uh, um, IPv6. Uh, they play the must and should share parity with MPLS or without MPLS. Uh, and so far, we can't see how it connects to S SDN. And by offering these solutions, we um, basically should mean that um, should mind, should bear in mind that uh, a network that is based on this technology is far more easier to to to, to controllable uh, with uh, by, by very different network controllers. And actually, that was uh, born not as the result of my aberration. It uh, really was born out of uh, dealing uh, with the with most large operators that uh, that work and networks uh, for uh, thousands or dozens of thousands of routers, and the operation of uh, this whole facility and any changes made would potentially uh, incur um, big financial losses and and uh, big operational complexity. So uh, therefore, um, these are uh, the networks and having dozens of thousands of tunnels and millions of marks uh, for each of the boxes. So um, with this operator, with these operators, uh, we uh, developed a notion which uh, concerns uh, offering something that would uh, um, uh, that would uh, boil this uh, complex sandwich system um, uh, into uh, something. So uh, uh, one of the ideas was to uh, refuse uh, the use of uh, SLP and MTP and these networks. And what else is important is that um, by having all the set of protocols that uh, many of you are that familiar that when you wake up at night, uh, you're quite able to understand how this works. and. Uh, uh, the, this network or the network that the person um, currently contacts uh, without any problem. So yes, we have learned this, but actually uh, even using any optimization uh, means like um, carried on our control, um, controllers, um, as the young controllers, we um, anyway will uh, be uh, faced with the same complexity. We need to uh, drag it in and we need to really plumb it. We need to analyze and uh, complicate the optimization. So apart from that, the uh, traffic control of this network is far more difficult. So to actually uh, the, um, the most important things that we get as, as, the, as the result. Um, what I would like to pay attention to is that as the result we get 
we got it. As the result of the work of the engineering, Cisco engineers um, group, um, we got a draft. And uh, that's, first of all, not our attempt to uh, get ahead of time and say, uh, like, uh, we're ahead of anyone and we've thought a new thing, we've made up a new thing, and we're going no, to sell it to you uh, better than before. And uh, on the ITF work group that did develop that, and it included representatives of both large operators like Doge Telecom, um, Orange, and it also uh, was British Telecom and uh, Telecom Serbia. It's moving on so fast. So actually, uh, it also included some reps, and uh, as uh, you can see, highlighted in blue, uh, Lucen, uh, Hendrix, uh, Juniper, Hans Gretler. So that was the um, comment, that was the general, that was the uh, um, interagency work group, uh, the manufacturers and uh, operators actively working on that. So as a result, they're going to uh, produce some workable solutions, uh, segment routing. And that's, first of all, source-based routing. There's some element that we call the segment. That's some sort of. Uh, that's some sort of. Uh, let's uh, let's make it simple. Um, um, segments today is uh, same as those marks and nicks, and not much different from it. And and the routers uh, perceive it as a nick on mark because we uh, do not change the data forwarding. There is um, there is a possibility to use these segments as uh, as. Uh, sub multiplicity or stack as we use the marks uh, and uh, only Azure router knows about the uh, uh, mark formation um, just to make it run down the network as AG router wants and uh, as the or maybe a controller told him told it um, operations on the segments and marks um, are absolutely uh, the same as the ones that are um, being done now by any ISIC so um, network services. So we are adding the marks. We are choosing them. We uh, have to actually uh, change the thing from the point of view of uh, uh, dealing with the packages uh, that in the segment routing and the network indicator of what's to be done with this package. There are two types of segments. Uh, um, no, this one is showing through, yeah, but uh, there are a prefix segment and routing global block, and that's um, basically the same, similar thing. So uh, just to make this complex thing uh, more simple, let's say like by segment, like uh, uh, if we go, go, go segment by segment for this segment and the segment belonging to a link of some node, uh, we're looking at uh, the network as some sort of draft uh, uh, like the pivot points are which are the nodes and their routes so with local links. Um, this segment has one label and uh, here is the deal. If it wants to achieve some sort of router, then today every uh, network um, is signalized down the network so pre prefix and other routers. For each of the routers we uh, take the uh, uh, a look back and we uh, elaborate on it. It's achievable with a label of 65, another with a label of 24, and the router programs it in data plan and then it swaps uh, these labels uh, one over another. So uh, today in this seg segment, uh, um, if we talk about uh, remote router, um, um, to achieve it, one label is necessary and uh, it's uh, only them that are programmed. And uh, there is also an adjacent segment, and that's a label that is uh, um, administered, that is appointed to uh, every link on the router if necessary, and they're distributed into the network, but uh, they do not fit into the feed of the road routers that are on that network. And so the um, um, transport um, Iced essence, uh, uh, if if we use adjacency segments, uh, uh, so um, a stack of labels is formed uh, that is tra transferred transferred down the way or down the way because it learns it from 
uh, learns them from the from its neighbors, and all the neighbors are doing a pop of the top top notch of the top label and uh, send it down the sent it in the package down there, uh, which uh, allows for adjacency and explicit routes. So down the links down the segments, we can send the package. But uh, the cutest part of the segment routing is. Uh, is uh, in the uh, node segment. In the node segment, uh, everything is uh, way more simple. If these labels uh, did swap swap over before uh, that, then now if the router has announced the label to be achieved in the network, would uh, make uh, every router down its way to learn it, to learn the label and uh, and uh, use it as uh, multi-path or just to um, achieve the routers down the network. Uh, while doing so, uh, the uh, routers uh, uh, approach approach uh, does not change uh, crucially. Uh, so it uh, sort of receives a label 65 and it swaps it over the same 65 and sends it uh, further down the network. So, and this up till V and uh, ISAS, and uh, there is no need to uh, hold a DP uh, and uh, RSLP. Um, these segments uh, could be combined, and it's both the segments uh, and uh, uh, for, for, for these segments and for the adjacency segment, and uh, that's how we determine the way down the network. An important thing about here is that. Uh, that it is the router that uh, launches it to the network, knows exactly how the package will go down the network, and it programs it within the package itself. Um, and also, um, uh, we uh, basically have no issues um, no, talking about. Um, um, uh, if you know, if you know how loop free works, uh, uh, we uh, use. Uh, the same practically the same technology to to achieve uh, fast pre fast re, uh, router uh, FRR uh, that we had before to um, make things clear and uh, how you can use them I will cite a number of examples the uh, Easiest example, um, we have two PEs uh, and uh, we have a service uh, that uh, VPN service that uh, writes on the two PEs and we need to direct the traffic on a router-based network from one router to another. And uh, we uh, basically use a regular segments. So we point that to achieve uh, this service on this uh, router, we use a label 65 and uh, uh, the traffic uh, runs down there. And uh, if uh, you uh, uh, extrapolate this label in all possible ways it will uh, run down the network, uh, traffic will run down the network, so uh, the number of uh, labels exponentially goes down. And uh, if for these purposes we um, we start using a TE, then subsequently HPE uh, PE builds tunnels. Uh, if, uh, every PE may potentially build a number of TE tunnels, and uh, in general on the networks, and uh, the midpoints, uh, there's a number of them, like uh, when it comes to dozens of thousands sometimes, and sometimes hundreds of thousands, and the alarm goes down and it runs around the network, and uh, uh, without uh, an extra software, controlling software, it's difficult to understand what is going on here. So if we uh, do the same on segment routing, then the uh, number of labels uh, on the network and the number of uh, LSPs will uh, decrease uh, with um, n square to the uh, number of uh, uh, nodes and the number of adjacencies on each node. So, uh, doing with the job of um, working with uh, 
Um, this network, and I know that even here in Ukraine, the operators use an approach where we have two independent uh, uh, planes of network, and uh, we can use either three or one. So the whole choice is, is in about a PM router that will launch the traffic into the network. You indicate one segment, and uh, it would uh, distribute the traffic down the two planes to get a destination. Or we can divide the traffic between the planes uh, by sending it. Uh, uh, with two labels and two segments, and it will be actually uh, keep circulating there uh, with different ways. And the last example, already some short of time. Uh, well, let's assume uh, a Tokyo operator, Tokyo baser, just needs to send uh, traffic to Brussels. There is a cheap Broadway through the US, there is a short path but expensive through Russia. It's quite simple to solve with a point uh, uh, tunnel selection. And this traffic can be distributed by these links. But let's assume a path uh, across the US is long. And uh, by the number of hubs, just we will exceed the number of delays. Uh, using exclusive route routing for segment routing will uh, resolve this task uh, very simply. Uh, with an example, example with OAM, we may make this path just along all links that we have in the net, and to put OAM, you will have uh, all this traffic uh, transport for OAM traffic. Well, and the very final example, what relates to orchestration? We have a kind of application that knows about the level of load, collects this data. It also knows that one of the links is full. If we use uh, regular routing, we send traffic without considering this problem. All are aware that open routing can resolve this problem usually. By replacing one label in a stack on sender traffic, we can uh, just uh, guide this uh, traffic by using these links. That's actually all. Thank you.